New details tonight about the perjury case involving the mayor of Shawnee. She's accused of filing a formal complaint with the Kansas Attorney General's office against other city leaders using someone else's name. Michelle Disler is charged with perjury in a non-felony trial. KCTV 5 stands for you, and our Emily Rittman reviewed court records released just hours ago that reveal what she's accused of lying about, and she joins us now live. Emily? Brad, she's accused of using a man's email and name to file a Kansas Open Meetings Act complaint against other city leaders. He found out when he received a confirmation email for a complaint that he says he never filed. He reported it to police. According to court records, Michelle Disler, seen here at a previous meeting, told investigators in March five governing body members were on an email chain. When two members responded to emails, she believed that was a Kansas Open Meetings violation. In the first place, she accused half the council of committing a crime that they didn't commit. Former Shawnee City Council member Tracy Thomas doesn't believe the email correspondence was a violation. According to court records, Disler told investigators the man whose name she used is a, quote, watchdog who usually files complaints against her. His name is redacted from the court record released today. However, a witness list included the name of a man who often blogs about Shawnee government. It's so careless and reckless. Court records show when investigators traced the IP address associated with the complaint, they discovered it belonged to Mayor Disler. Investigators say Disler told them she got an error message when she tried to submit the complaint anonymously. She began to attempt to send a complaint a second time using the man's name but didn't hit submit. She reportedly told investigators, quote, I don't know how it got sent, but it's my fault. I am fully responsible for getting sent, end quote. Thomas questions Disler's account in the affidavit of how a complaint that requires a CAPTCHA code was sent without her submitting it. Disler reportedly told investigators she wanted to report the suspected violation, but because of who was involved, she feared making the report herself. I think that her credibility is shot in the city and she probably needs to step aside. And we reached back out to the mayor for comment tonight, but her voicemail box was full. She still has not replied to our previous email request from for comment from last Wednesday. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News.